A little decluttering segment. I can tell you most of it's gonna go. Officially gotten rid of this many books. It's just a big family-wide scramble. Is that a... If anybody pinches me, I swear. Found about books, here we come. I'm behind in the series that we're both reading. How many books are there? Seven? Did you not know what you were signing up for? No! <laughs> Watch out for that lightning. <laughs> Verse mapping makes the Bible new again. I'm listening to Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. I reached 2,000 subscribers. Oh no. So you fell and now the lens is chipped. Hello fellow YouTubers, I'm Cassandra Joy and welcome to my channel. Another day, another oversized t-shirt. <laughs> you may have noticed I have no makeup on today. That's because my skin has been super dry and I'm not sure what's going on so I decided to give it a skincare day, put a nice moisturizing mask on that I'll wash off later. But I find that if I don't explain that I'm not wearing makeup, people assume that I'm not feeling well or that something's wrong. <laughs> because let's be honest, you do look really different to people who only ever see you with your makeup on. So I know it's not something I need to explain but it's something I feel like I should explain just so nobody's like are you okay <laughs> I slept in so late this morning I slept in until 10 I think which is unheard of for me I have all the makings of being a late riser but I don't like to I like to get up and have my day if I wake up late I feel like I've wasted the most productive part of the day but it's been so gray I don't know how well you can see out the window but it's just been the yuckiest few days and honestly I think that's why I slept in because the darkness of early morning didn't change into later morning <laughs> today's Friday which means it's editing day I always use Fridays to get Saturday morning vlogs ready to go one thing I would like to do is play this new game that I bought myself it may surprise some of you that I like video games I'm very choosy with my video games but I do like them especially the uncharted series this is their latest game it's it's not new it's quite old which is why I could afford it it's called uncharted the lost legacy it's given a few female side characters their spotlight in their own game and then later this afternoon I'll get cleaned up get cute and meet a friend in town she's one of my shyer friends she doesn't like to be filmed so I probably won't film any of her but just know that when I'm filming I'm not alone <laughs> I have someone I'm talking to on the side but we haven't seen each other in ages and we're gonna go to one of my favorite bookshops around about books taking you there a million times we're gonna do one of our favorite things browse for books I don't know how well you can see my bookshelf but I have officially run out of room for books and yet I keep buying them because that's what bookworms do so part of me is kind of hoping I don't find anything to buy at the bookstore but let's be honest it's a bookstore who am I kidding so that's today's docket of events I'm gonna get started on editing still in the midst of decluttering and organizing it always looks worse before it gets better. It's in the worst stage. I won't pretend it's not. But we're gonna ignore that for just a second and see what package I got. Ooh, I know what this color package means. It's that up. Might as well just sit here and open it. I think I bought two things this time. Both of them were shirts. But I think there's only one item in here. Let's see. Yeah, just one item. This is an Emery Rose shirt. It's a blouse material, but it's a t-shirt shape. Dark burnt orange polka dot. I think this will be so cute. Maybe I'll wear this later. I had another shirt all picked out to wear to hang out with my friend, but assuming this fits, that could be cute. With my red hair, I find that warm tones really compliment me. And not that this is important, but I seem to get a lot more compliments when I wear warm tone stuff. So I'm taking my cues from that because I feel like you have to look pretty good for people to feel the urge to tell you you look good. Let me try it on real quick. I love how it fits me, except for the fact that it's shorter than I would normally go for. But I love the color, I love the fit, I love the feel of it. Maybe though, just for a sanity check, we should ask mom's opinion. I have a question. Does this shirt look too short? It's shorter than I would normally shorter wear it. Than what you usually get, but I don't think it looks too short. It might be really cute with a skirt too. Oh, you know, a that's skirt, a thought. Of yeah, and then the shortness wouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. See, this is why I ask mom's opinion. She has all the best advice. <laughs> Thanks, mom. You're so welcome. <laughs> Moms always have the best advice. That's what I was going to recommend. <laughs> you are not. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't come to me first. Dad always feels left out when I ask mom fashion advice. He feels really hurt that I never ask him his opinion on my fashion choices. Well, you can relieve the pressure on your mom by coming to me first and she'll end up asking my opinion anyway. When's the last time I asked your advice on fashion there, there things? Been so many times I just can't keep track of it. <laughs> <laughs> Mom in the background. 
Can Jump in that light, <laughs> <laughs> I love your fashion choice today, Dad. You're looking flannel chic. <laughs> this is early construction. <laughs> All right, change back into my oversized t-shirt. Now that we've had a good laugh, let's get to editing. editing break I just had to take the fastest shower I think I've ever taken in my life my dad is doing something that requires the water to be off and I knew I needed to shower before I met my friend Ashley tonight so I was like ah can, can I just shower really quick I'll only be 15 minutes I washed my hair I washed my face I washed myself I shaved and I brushed my teeth all in 15 minutes I feel like I deserve a gold medal for that so now I have some gorgeous wet hair I just really needed to humble brag that I was able to do all of that in 15 minutes so anybody who has a younger brother who takes an hour in the shower not naming any names they now have no excuse because as a girl with longer hair and more things to do I got it all done in 15 minutes just saying there we go just did my hair so it looks nice and got the other half of my thread up package I thought I would open that because I kind of forget what the other item I bought was Ooh. apparently I bought a sweater oh yeah I forgot it's this cold shoulder number where it sort of drapes off like that that's gonna be so cute oh now i want to wear this tonight <laughs> i can't decide they're all so cute wait let me try it on first before i get excited because i need to make sure that it fits this is an eloki brand never heard of that but looks cute let's try it on okay i'm not sure i have it on right is this supposed to crisscross instead of do because look it I think I have it on wrong. Hold on. There we go. That's so much better. That looks right now. Again, it's a little shorter than I prefer. I always check width inches, but I never think to check length inches. This might have to be another top that goes over a dress or a skirt, but I love the peekaboo aspect to this. Also, I definitely need to wash my mirror. <laughs> Just realize that. So I just pulled in across the way from the bookstore that we're gonna go to, around about books. You can see it right there. I just looked in front of me where the Mayflower is. Let me turn the air down so you can hear me. The Mayflower, when I was younger, as in high school time period, used to be a theater and an art gallery. It's recently shut down and it was for sale for the longest time. My parents even looked at it for a hot second just, just to see what we could even do with it. It needed so many repairs. It was a money pit and a passion project that just wasn't the right fit for us, but it looks like it was the right fit for someone because there's a sign on the front now. Looks like they're still keeping the name Mayflower, which makes me so happy, but it looks like it's gonna be a distillery. It says bourbon, gin, and vodka are now available. That that sounds super cool. I'll definitely have to check that out at some point in the future, but I'm so glad somebody was able to buy it and decided to keep the name. Oh my gosh, I wondered why it was so busy down here. I keep seeing everybody in St. Patty's Day hats. That's why it's St. Patrick's Day. I had no idea. Oops, and I'm not wearing anything green. Do my eyes count? I have green eyes. I feel like nobody's gonna count that. Dang it, if anybody pinches me, I swear. Oh, it's windy. Jeez, I can't even keep my door open. My goodness, it's very windy. Roundabout books, here we come. A song, did I send it to you? It's a rock cover of the song In the Middle of the Night. In the middle of the night. I don't think so. It's the best thing. <laughs> I love when people do rock covers of pop music. Mm -hmm. I prefer it a hundred times over. Because rock music is more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> don't let the pop artists hear you say that. I, well, I can tell them. <laughs> the thing has been played out and it's just repetitive now. Right. 
At least with rock music, it can change. <laughs> rock music, I think, has a lot more feeling and emotion. It feels real. Yeah. As opposed to computer-generated hip-hop. Yeah. It has more depth, I guess is a good word. But did I read this? I pushed it back. I can't reach it. Oh, thank you. Move it to the shorter of us to think of that. <laughs> I'm tall. I don't normally have this problem. <laughs> You're probably like, bite me. <laughs> anything on that shelf is just not happening. <laughs> well, if you need anything, let me know. <laughs> I'll be good. I'll put it back where it goes. Are you going to focus is the question. I love that I can tap the screen and it'll focus. Yeah. That's so nice. We found a copy of Through the Looking Glass and it's just the prettiest canvas cover. But there's no publication date. We were wondering what edition it is. A lot of pencil markings though. Easily erasable but so cute. Blind date with a book, anyone? Only 50 cents. Like, why am I still reading this? Why does she do this to me? I have to read how many books for it to get good? <laughs> Ashley's annoyed because I'm behind in the series that we're both reading. She, you finished it. I haven't finished the whole series. How many I'm books in. are there? Seven. Seven? Did you not know what you were signing up for? No! <laughs> Book one, she's on book three, and she's mad that she can't tell me anything. Oh, no, yet. I'm past book three. What are you on? I think I'm on five. Oh, no wonder you're mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours left of the audiobook, and then I'm done with book one. There's a lot of stuff that happens at the end of book one. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a Sarah J. Moss book if things didn't happen all at once at the end. She saves it so that you can't stop for like the last five chapters. It would be nice stuff happen throughout the book. <laughs> that was so fun getting to see Ashley. I haven't seen her in so long. We talk on the phone all the time, but actually seeing someone in the flesh is far different. I did find one book at Around About Books that I thought I would try. It's called The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. I've seen this online everywhere and people seem to like it. I read the first page and was intrigued so I thought I would give it a try. And then after the bookstore she and I decided to go right next door to the coffee shop and do something called verse mapping. I'd never heard of it before. Ashley completely got me into it. I don't know how well I can show you but basically you write down the verse. You start with the NIV version. You highlight words that you want to define and then you define each word in these little bubbles. And then down here you write different translations. So I would probably use the message and maybe one other translation to note any differences between them and then expand on what those differences are, why they're different. And then it just has some questions that help you dive deeper so you can answer who wrote it when to whom why my verse that I chose I just looked in Psalms because I felt like Psalms was a safe first go <laughs> and I did Psalms 3 3 which reads but you Lord are a shield around me my glory the one who lifts my head high I highlighted the words shield glory and lifts on the next page you can do cross references what the verse says about the view of God about the view of the person who wrote it and then you can write your own reflections. I'll link the website where I got this form from. You can buy a notebook that has this form throughout the whole thing, but it's $40 and I don't have it. So I just printed out the sample, especially to start with to see if I even like it. Devotions for me, because I grew up in the church and went to a Christian school, always felt like homework. It never felt like something pleasurable to do. It was a task to check off. And the byproduct of that is that I'm not great at reading my Bible. I love listening to sermons, I love going to church, but reading my Bible has always been kind of a struggle because my brain instantly associates it with homework. And then Ashley introduced me to verse mapping. And I thought, well, if it gets me out of the homework headspace, maybe that would be interesting. I like it. I think it's kind of fun. It makes the Bible new again. It makes it sort of like a mystery to solve. You're diving deeper into verses, getting more out of them than just what's at face value. I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, I've only done it the once, but I'd like to keep practicing and keep trying. 
excuse you, sir. But I thought I'd mention it just in case any of you are in the same boat where devotions are not your forte, either they feel boring or like a checklist, or you simply just don't know where to start. Psalms, I think, is a safe place to start in any aspect of the Bible because it feels like reading someone's emotional driven diary. A lot of the things that David speaks about are super relatable. They're prayers that I have kind of prayed, you know, with my own words often. And then I read Psalms and I'm like, oh yeah, totally been there, dude. I can completely relate to what you're feeling right now. But I'll link the website in the description box for you just in case anyone wants to dive into verse mapping with me. We can learn together. But now I'm gonna turn up my heat because I'm Amazing. The temperature dropped so much. How, what's, what's the temperature right now? I'm actually curious. 32? It's 32! 32 degrees! Ooh, no wonder I'm freezing. Okay, well, I'm gonna turn up the heat and try to get warm and head home. <laughs> Just thought I would show you in case any of you were interested. This is what I decided to wear for going out with Ashley. The top is from Sheen. It's very silky. I just feel very put together and grown up in it. I don't know why. It just gives me that New York chic feeling. Although it is meant to be a dress and I'm thinking I'd like it better if it was shortened to about here as opposed to being all the way down there, but that's okay. My favorite necklace, I wear this all the time, is from an Etsy creator. I'll link her down below. I don't think a day goes by that I leave the house without putting this necklace on. I love it so much. It goes with everything. It's timeless. It's not tarnished one bit and I've had it for a while, so it's made really well. And then the jeans are from Amazon. They're more jeggings than denim. They are very very stretchy, which is to their fault because they almost don't fit anymore. <laughs> they feel really tight right after you wear them and they feel like, oh yes, they're gonna hug me well and stay on and then as you move throughout the day, they get looser and looser. But I've done that thing where you button it through the belt loop to cinch them a little tighter and that's allowed me to wear them a little longer until I can collect some new jeans that do fit me. Hello loves, I just woke up from a Sunday afternoon snooze and I'm covered in no less than three different blankets, well two blankets, this one, a jacket, and then this blanket. I get so much colder on the couch now because my cubbies aren't blocking my AC unit anymore so the air flows a lot better and I'm cold all the time. I just couldn't keep my eyes open so I laid down on the couch trying to just get a short nap in and wouldn't you know as soon as I drift off it's time for me to go get groceries and I can't put it off because it's pickup and I only have half an hour to get there to do it so I have to unfurl from my cozy cocoon of blankets and get up and did I mention it's freezing outside today I was wearing a dress but then I started working on decluttering and a dress was not, not the uniform for that. So I put on some cozy sweatpants and I don't think I'm gonna change out of them to go get my groceries. I think I wanna stay cozy. Here's what my living room is looking like so far. The last time I left you, it was covered on the floor with just piles of stuff that were in my coffee table. And now I've cleared all that off. I've got a few straggler things left. I've got one more bag to go through and then I'm done. So I have been productive, I feel pretty good. It's just that unsatisfyingly slow kind of process. I mentioned to someone, I forget who, but I would love to do one of those Instagram transitions where I snap my fingers and it's done. Obviously this is real life and that can't happen, but man, that would be so nice if I could. All right, let's get going here. I need shoes though. However, I am gonna ruin the outfit by picking a jacket that goes absolutely terribly with my shirt, but it's warm and that's what's important. My word, that wind is cold. The sun is most deceiving. I woke up and my car was a popsicle this morning. I didn't realize that because the sun was shining so brightly. So I didn't get up any earlier to take care of that. So I had to quickly grab my de-icer 
and defrost my car. I got to church on time, but sadly not in time to grab a coffee. They serve coffee up until 15 minutes. And certainly more dramatic. Oops. I'm listening to Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss on the Libby app. I have an hour left and only one more day until it goes back. So I'm trying to finish it. But anyway, I got to church on time. I just didn't get there in time to grab a coffee. They serve coffee, free coffee, up until 15 minutes before service starts. And I got there at 10 till. So no morning coffee for me. That's okay because I think what I might do after grabbing my groceries is to stop by a local coffee shop, one of the rare ones that are open on a Sunday, and grab myself a coffee because I haven't had any yet. Although the smart financial thing to do would be to not because I am technically buying cold brew from the grocery store today and that's part of the groceries I'm picking up. And it tastes good. I'm not saying that. It's just coffee from an actual coffee place just tastes better. Fun, exciting news. A couple of you commented that I'm really close to 2,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I knew I was getting there but I didn't know how close I actually was until I checked my analytics. I'm less than I think 10 people away from hitting 2,000 which is so cool. I feel like the first thousand felt like sludging through the thickest mud. It was just agonizing and slow. And this second thousand has come about pretty fast. I think just within a few months. I hit a thousand subscribers in January and it's March now. So like three months. That's so cool. Thank you to everybody who's decided to join this online family. I so appreciate you being here and coming to hang out with me every week. It means a lot and gets me that much closer to my dream job, which is to work from home, working online, making money doing things I actually enjoy instead of working for a boss, doing things I don't. She brought the staff down upon his sword, splinters flying into the air. I can tell you most of it's gonna go. That's fine. It sits me just fine. <laughs> okay, this can go. There's stuff in it. Oh my goodness. There's my retainer. Here's my retainer. <laughs> do I keep it? What do I do? Oh, anybody remember these tiny Revlon curling irons? Oh my word. That can go. Where's your camera? Right there. Because I don't want to be in it. Don't come any closer. They'll get in the camera shot. I know. Evil. <laughs> the evil, evil camera. camera. <laughs> don't talk about my online family that way. I didn't say the family. I said the camera. Oh. Well, they're part of it. They see through the camera. <laughs> can't remember the last time I've used a sugar scrub. Exactly. But it's full. It'd be wasting an entire... Tub. Are you using it? No. Did you even know you had it? No. Get rid of it. <laughs> Erica sent me a comment, by the way, <laughs> oh, <no>. about you. <laughs> oh, no. She's probably watching this laughing. She's like, your mom is right. Listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Erica. No. I need backup. <laughs> I said, hey, you want to come over and help anytime? Uh. No. You didn't even know you had it. No, I didn't. Conditioning treatment. Mm -hmm. My word, where did all of these come from? In the bathroom. And they mm -hmm. wonder where my sarcasm comes from. <laughs> it's very obvious where it comes from. They think I'm... Dad's sassy. He is, I'm not. He learned from you! <laughs> <laughs> See, guilt and sentimentality wants me to keep this. My using it is very slim. My grandma gave it to me. She would be the one saying, well, who knows, you might use that. She might. <laughs> But that's a funny thing because she wouldn't do that for herself, <laughs> but she would for you. Yeah. Oh, Grandma. Oh, my. <laughs> I have all this to go through. I don't want to. Getting rid of all this, minus the spices, those are staying, and consolidated everything into one box. 
Not too shabby, eh, Mom? I mentioned that. Water bottle. You don't want that? Oh. Well, I mean, I guess I could. Oh, I missed. Heck yeah, I'm keeping that. <laughs> okay. So dad's working on stuff that requires the water to be turned off, which means it's always an event when he announces, I'm turning the water off. Everybody uses the restroom, washes their hands, grabs a drink of water, all the things we try to check off before dad turns off the water. It's just a big family-wide scramble. You don't realize how much you depend on water until you don't have it easily accessible to you. I just thought that was a funny little thing that I thought I'd share. What I should be doing is editing a vlog for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday, and I was hoping to have a Chats with Cass uploaded, but instead do a little video game. I don't know about you, but I really like video games, only my brain categorizes them as a waste of time, and there's always something more important that takes a higher priority than a video game, so I never ever play. But it's just after seven, the light's going, I'm about to fix myself a cup of cold brew coffee, and it just feels like the cozy thing to do on a Sunday afternoon. So I think I might do that for a little bit. I had to ask my brother to help me because it's a PS4 and I normally play on a PS3. It's just what most of my games are on. But this is Uncharted The Last Legacy, which is PS4. I want to see if this can work without being plugged in. <gasps> it can! Because my TV is far too far away from the couch for me to do this with the cord attached. I haven't played this game in so long. I'm so worried I'm going to be rusty. I don't know about you, but I have video games up on the highest brightness because I hate dark spaces where I can't see anything. It just drives me nuts. Look how pretty. Aren't the graphics gorgeous? They look like a video. A video. A movie. <laughs> Clearly showing my age. <laughs> One of the reasons I love this game is because there's an actress named Laura Bailey who I love who plays one of the characters in this story. She plays the African-American woman and sounds nothing like herself, so I didn't even know it was her. played for a lot longer than I realized. It's like 9.30, which is about my bedtime, and I don't feel the least bit tired because that's what video games do to you. They amp you up and wake up your brain. I could keep going. I'm at a good spot, but I'm gonna stop because otherwise I won't go to bed until 2 a.m. But I am gonna leave the vlog here for now and I will see you another day. Good morning loves, it's the next day and it's a lot later than I wanted to start filming but the day's just completely gotten away from me. However, something very exciting did happen today and I thought I would let you all know. If any of you have taken a peek at my subscriber count, you may have noticed that I reached 2,000 subscribers! That was such a surprise, it happened so much faster than the first thousand did and I'm just blown away that there are that many family members who decided to join the channel. I wish I could say that I had done something super special to celebrate, and the truth is I just didn't. I slept in. Does that count as celebrating? If you hear voices, it's just my niece and my brother having a Skype chat. You all seem to really love the decluttering video I posted last week, which makes me so happy because I was so unsure about that video. I was like, man, this is a very niche audience and I don't know if people will like it, but I think I've gotten more views on that video as far as long form content goes than I have on 
pretty much any other vlog for a long while. So thank you so much for supporting that and decluttering and organizing right along with me makes me so happy that we're doing this together. So I thought in honor of that, since you guys like that so much, I would do a little decluttering segment, something easy, something I can check off the to-do list without too much stress. I say that. I'm going to tackle my bookshelf. Basically, I have too many books and only one bookshelf to store them in, so I think I need to go through and do a brutal book bin. Really testing out my emotional guilt when it comes to getting rid of things. But I think what I want to do is to get rid of books that have been sitting on my shelf that I just haven't reached, haven't wanted to read, just is kind of there for a just in case scenario or waiting for the right time to feel like reading it. There's no time for that nonsense. It's gotta go. I also am not quite sure where to put you. I have you on a shelf right now, but the shelf is quickly going to be taken over by all the dishes we have to stack on our bookshelf for lack of anywhere else to put them. While we were in the throngs of moving furniture. I also meant to look a lot fancier than this. I feel like my face doesn't match my outfit. I didn't put any makeup on today. I meant to, but then by the time I got around to actually going to do it, it was so late in the day, it just felt like, why bother? So you get a fresh face to cast today. I'm actually not sure if this is the best angle for you. Hang on. What if I put you here? Can you see? Maybe? Okay, I know for a fact that Red Queen is one that I saw was super hyped up and I even have friends who loved it and I just, just never got into it. It's Nora Roberts' book. It was like the second or third in the series and I never bought the first, so that can go. Oh, here's book two. And here's book three, but I don't have book one. <laughs> okay, Big Little Lies. I, I don't know, this sounded really good. I'll keep it just for a little bit. And then if I still don't read it anytime soon, I'll get rid of it. Nerve is also a book I haven't read yet, but I heard the movie was really good, which made me want to read the book first before seeing the movie. I have two copies of Black Beauty. This one is my childhood copy, and this one is one I thrifted at $1 Book Swap. It's a much prettier copy, but I want to check if there's illustrations. Sorry about that, had to change the battery. This copy of Black Beauty has illustrations. This one does not, but this one is far prettier, and this one is far more loved. I think I'll keep this and maybe gift this to a little in my life. Okay, this could go on a while, so I'm gonna put you on a time lapse rearrange everything so that they make a perfect little rainbow and then show you how much I got rid of. Let's hope it's a lot. I'm fine. I have officially gotten rid of this many books. I'm pretty proud of that. Look how tidy and color coordinated it looks. I love it. Oh no. Um, so you fell and now the lens is chipped, which will be fine except that the focus on the camera keeps going like kind of thing, trying not to focus on the thing. You can't see the defect in the lens visually through what it's capturing, but I think the camera is trying not to focus on it, which means the focus is doing weird things when I film. Oh, I could cry. I'll show you what I did. I had this here because I wanted to balance the camera just here. It was totally safe, nothing that could hurt it around. I forgot that this necklace that I keep here just for pretty was right here. And when it fell, lens open, where do you think it landed? On this crystal. Ugh. I'm so upset, honestly. I could cry a little bit. I'm I'm not even exaggerating. I could I could very easily cry right now. Cause spoiler alert, I don't have the money to replace this. But I'm continuing to film just in case it's fine. I'll obviously be able to see when I edit it, but of course it would land on the crystal necklace. Of course it would. Out of all the other things it could have landed on and not hurt it at all. What I need to do is check and see if this is still under warranty or if I even got a warranty. I feel like warranty is something I would have done. Anyway, none of you care about this, but I just, I'm so mad at myself. I can't believe I did that. Dad brought dinner home, so I'm gonna eat a little bit and I'm gonna see if I can do a little bit of reading. I am 
filming a read-along with me separate to this vlog so I want to pick up a different book something new something different while I eat my food and try not to burst into tears about this camera situation y'all are gonna have to let me know in the comments how the focus is is it doing this weird jittery kind of trying to focus thing or is it acting normal let me know <laughs> Mom looks so pretty in the golden sunlight. <laughs> I was just telling her her brown eyes look like honey. Yes? <laughs> but you look so pretty. I'm not blind. <laughs> you do! Oh, I'm not even filming your head. I was, I, I was like dipping it down because I was looking at you and not at the camera. Now that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Mom bought me a new tablecloth and it's out there on the porch and I was about to go get it and she said, no, you're not allowed. You have to clear off your table first. I said, I don't have to keep it. I can just show them. She's like, no, you can't show them until you clean off your table. And she's looking very smug right now off to the side. I also told Mom and Dad my camera woes. The camera seems to be working okay. It's not struggling to focus like it was at first. Maybe it's adapted. I don't know. This was a very sad way to end the day that I reached 2,000 subscribers. This is not how I thought it would go, but here we are, real life, raw and real. Speaking of golden hour, ooh, that looks pretty. I feel like this was the kind of lighting I would wait for to take selfies back in the day when I took a lot of selfies on a digital camera. I'm not even talking a phone. So pretty. There's this teeny tiny window in the attic where we get golden hour sunlight through it. The camera isn't even picking up how pretty it looks. Very pretty. Ooh. Ooh. I like being backlit even more. Looks like I have a halo. As I should. Well, it's that time of night again where I round off the vlog. I just spent the rest of the evening writing my night sky project, book two. Sometimes I write new scenes, other times I write scenes to bridge two scenes together. And whenever that happens, whenever I make that seamless seam, it feels so satisfying. It's finally starting to read and feel like an actual book as opposed to just little snippets of plot, little dialogue bits. It's starting to come together like a book, which is all you can really ask of a book you're writing, really. <laughs> Despite the fiasco with my vlog camera lens, I'm really hoping that the footage is fine and that I continue filming on this and save my money a little longer. <laughs> Today was a really nice day. The sun was out, I got to do a lot of stuff that I wanted to do, and I reached 2,000 family members here on YouTube, which is just, just so fun. <laughs> I feel like anything I say will either sound too gushy or not grateful enough, but all I've wanted is to curate an online family of lovely-minded people to hang out with every week. And I love seeing that finally start to happen. I know 2,000 subscribers is a drop in the bucket to the grand scheme of success on YouTube, but it's more than I've ever had, and I'm really grateful for it. I feel like once I get monetized, I feel like once that happens, I'll feel like I can properly celebrate. I'm really bad at celebrating the tiny milestones. I'm always looking for the next big one. If the big one hasn't happened, 
I somehow need to save my excitement. <laughs> I don't know. It's a dumb thing my brain does, but I'm trying to celebrate the little wins, which is why I wanted to make sure to say thank you so much for being here, for choosing to be part of this little online family, and for being part of the reason that it's growing into the lovely community that it is. I'm really glad you're here. So grateful that you come to hang out with me every week, and I hope that continues for a very long time. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that notification bell so that you never miss a future video from me. I upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays, both at 6 a.m. and sometimes on Mondays. I'm gonna get settled in for the night, so I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye!